even more important than living in community is practicing in community. There are plenty of examples of people who live together but who have difficulties being in relationships with each other. Living in community without proper practices and proper uh, skill sets that can be developed is actually dangerous <laughs> and can be explosive. But with proper practices and proper guidance, it could be very beneficial. And especially in this day and age when our institutions seem to be collapsing, we have to go back to our basics and learn how to cooperate, learn how to be in deep relationships with each other, learn how to help each other to carry our pain and our wounds and learn how to grow food together and how to share our resources. And so I think in that sense, communities are really the future because when I look around, I don't see much hope in our institutions. I don't see too many possibilities for transformation when it comes to our political system. But a lot could be accomplished by people who intentionally come together in a conscious way uh, to develop their hearts, to learn how to be together, to learn how to grow their souls, to learn how to grow food, to learn how to share resources, and to learn how to be responsible for each other. For those of us who are religious junkies, so to speak, we tend to think that to manifest Christ's nature, you know, we need another Mother Teresa or we need another Oscar Romero or Dr. King. And that might be true. But I feel that some of the most holy people that I've met in my life have actually been pretty ordinary people. Ordinary monastics who are not looking for any publicity. Uh, ordinary parents who run their households with so much love. Where, where you enter that home, you just feel touched deeply by the reality of love. For each person, it looks differently, uh, depending on how we are called to manifest Christ or to manifest our Buddha nature in the world. How do we nourish that in ourselves? This is where especially a fusion of Christianity and Buddhism can be very helpful. Buddhism offers us some very specific, beautiful practices where each of our breath can touch that reality, where each step can help us to be open uh, to that mystery. Christianity gives us this gift of realizing that that reality, while it's not necessarily a person in a way that you or I are persons, Nonetheless, it is personal. And what I mean by personal is that that reality loves us. Living in awareness of that and utilizing some of those practices that can put us in direct contact with that change us and enable us to be infused with that presence and then to take that presence into the world in our own unique way. For some people, that means, you know, a big way in terms of, like, I think of Dr. King, for example. And for some people, it means a quiet way. But both are equally important. I have hermit friends who never really interact with many people. But I know that they're holding the whole world on their hearts when they pray. I feel... They are praying for me. They are praying for us every day. That's their mission. And that's beautiful. That's what we need.